Hey guys, it's Dave from DRC Racing Garage. Um, just wanted to give an update on the race in Ohio. It has been canceled. Um, me and the wife flew up Friday. Uh, the race was supposed to be today, but I will walk the track with y'all and show, I want you guys to see this track. Um, friend of mine, Tony, uh, he lived in Hudson, Florida, which was just above Tampa. Um, he bought this track a couple years ago. I remember when him him getting with me and telling me he was going to buy a track up in Ohio. He told me the name of the track and I looked it up and I'm not used to the no prep racing down in Florida, but he did buy he did buy the track. Um like I said, it's it's freaking beautiful. It's one of the most iconic tracks that I've ever been to. It's got the the most kick-ass shutdown. Um, we will walk the entire track. I want to show you the surface. It is not raining now, but the track is wet and it's about 35 degrees out. Um, we have uh, decided to reschedule it in the spring. So I will be coming up here in the spring. This is my th third or fourth trip at this track. I love it. It's, it's home to, it's not the home track, but Bill Hawkinson and Billy Jr. do race here often. It's called Katy Dragway. It's located in South Webster, Ohio. Um, it, it's definitely a cool place. and It was built in 1989. I do know that. But uh, Tony bought this place and I looked it up. And I thought he was crazy. But if you've ever been to this track, you know exactly what I'm talking about. No prep racing is huge here. The worse the surface, the better the race. The more racers it gets. Tony's been wanting to do some work to the surface and the racers just tell him no, keep it the same. But we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this phone around. We are at KD Dragway, South Webster, Ohio. Um, they did do, they started doing some like uh, crash derby stuff, some derby stuff over here in this field. Um, but the, this is the this is the track. Limpy, Limpy does a huge cash days here. Um, his first event was here. Um, uh, was it? I think Fourth of July weekend. I was gonna come up, but I wasn't able to. They did clean some trees up over there to try to allow more parking. They're not done yet. But I'm gonna walk in the left lane. I am gonna make a pass on the Prius. Take you for a ride. But this is the probably the worst surface that I have ever seen. But that's what makes this racing popular up here. It's got cracks all over the damn place. There was a really bad spot, the transition right here. It was about a half inch higher. Actually, it's right up here. I mean, this thing is, this track is too cool. I did make a pass just before the video. It's got some major, major bumps in this left lane. Um, I do not know what the track record is here. I think it's a high four. Um, but this is no prep. This is all straight asphalt. Town is so small, it has, as far as I know and what I've seen, it has a subway and a gas station, and that's all that's here. I do know Tony bought this track a couple years back. Um, the first night I was here, the place was packed. <coughs> this is your pit area over here. They have some people uh that's more of the parking for the spectators over in that area on the other side of that building over that way but over here in this area on that road and on that road over here track traffic was backed up two miles each way the first time me and my wife came the cops had to come down, come here and shut the gate. 
they would not allow more people in the track more spectators but if you if you if you're interested in no prep racing this is the track to do it at it's the most iconic track that i've ever been to i'm sure you can see why right now the shutdown goes straight up a mountain side of a mountain but it's the surface is really really bad i mean it's terrible that's what makes this track where people want to come race he's got some work done like he's cleared out maybe making some more parking over here oh didn't notice that when i drove down the track but like i said the race is canceled obviously it's way too cold so we're gonna we're gonna start doing the drc event up here in um in the springtime and you can see where there has been some major crashes at this track it's all guardrail i'm not a fan of the guardrails at all tony is not either I think eventually he's gonna put concrete barriers in. But I mean, it's still holding water. There's no way. Concrete barriers are the way to go. You can see someone hit right here. You can see the track marks where people have hit. It's like someone clobbered it right here pretty good. That's the problem with these things. And I have seen tracks where these the, are the opposite direction. Like this piece on the back side of that. When you hit the guardrail, it just peels it back and it's like a it's like a knife going into a slice of cheese. But uh, he does have plans to replace the guardrails. But it's it's beautiful. South Southern Ohio. I've never been until I came here. And it's beautiful. It's just awesome, awesome, awesome country. I mean, it's beautiful out here. Lots of Am Amish farms. They do have a car dealership right down the road. It has about 10 cars on it. But here's what it's famous for. It doesn't look steep, but when you drive up it, it's crazy steep. And it's bumpy as hell. Extremely, extremely bumpy. But it looks like Tony's getting some stuff done out here. We'll walk back down. Just wanted to show you all the track. Um, we did, like I said, we did fly up uh, Friday. No great loss. Um, we, we did need a little getaway, so we fly back Monday to Florida. But uh, last year's DRC event, um, we raised like $6,000 for Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and it really wasn't even packed. There might have been eight cars and big tire, and I think there was like 25 or so in small tire. On a big event here, when me and my wife came here the very first time, there was about 48 or 50 small tire cars. Um, I did talk to Tony this morning that uh, the springtime would be best. Um, just the weather and, you know, they're, they're towards the end of their season up here and up north. Um, this would have been the last event of the year for here. When down in Florida, we're just getting started. There will be some... Uh, awesome awesome racing coming on the channel to the con for the content um we got a the snowbirds is i want to say it's uh 64 cars for 52,000, i believe and there's another one coming in march the first weekend in march it is the world series of pro mods put on by west buck from drag illustrated uh, it was formerly held in Denver, Colorado. He has moved it to Bradenton Motorsports Park, my home track. Um, it's, it is uh, 100000 to win. 
and it's an invitational. I think they're gonna have 40 cars. I do not know who that racer is. I was hoping to catch Tony here, but his son was on deployment and came back last night. Uh, he was gonna come help with the race today, but obviously we cannot race today. And I talked to Tony this morning, he took off to New York. Uh, his son has not seen his sister in about 12 years, so they, they made a little vacation out of it before head, Tony heads back to Florida. He will be back in the Tampa Bay area, and I will be hooking him up. And th this is this is kind of cool over here. This house over here on the on the the Midnight Madness races, they would literally. This was an ex preacher that lived there. They would pay him like two hundred fifty dollars and pay for his hotel because they would start racing. They would start racing here at like. 10 o'clock at night and they would literally the, the, the one of the nights that we, me and my wife were here they raced till like 6 30 in the morning but uh anyways i just wanted you all to see that track kd dragway it's formally named kd dragway it's called kd motorsports park now but if you get a chance you live in the west virginia kentucky southern ohio and you have not checked this track out you definitely need to come uh, you can check KD Motorsports Park on Facebook. They do have the 2023 schedule already made out. But it's one hell of a time. My wife loves coming up here. It's like one of those hold your beer type tracks. But anyways, you guys have a good evening. Um, and uh, if you're, like I said, you're putting your car away for the, the winter. Watch the channel. We got some kick-ass racing coming on. Uh, DRC Racing Garage, and I will be out racing before you know it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off, and I'm going to make another video just of going up the hill and back down. So you guys take care. Have a good day.